Now all the capacitors, everything's in place. What I'm going to do now is, is the, what they call the smoke test, or the moment of truth. And we're going to see what's going to happen. So now, let me unplug my iron. Turn it off. Unplug it. Okay, we're going to put her to the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this thing around like this. And we're going to do a little of this. Just going to tap it just a little bit to make sure that any solder or any splatter or anything that was in there, it's going to come out and that's it. Now I'm going to undo the power cable, of course. Now, before I do anything, what I'm going to do is this. Make sure that this thing's in the off position. Also, too, there's a few things you're going to need when you're testing this thing to get it going. Going to need a crystal. I got a 40 meter crystal right over here. Going to take this crystal and I'm going to plug it into the right socket because they gave you two sockets one for the smaller pins, one for the bigger pins. You're going to need a key so you can key this transmitter, like so. And I'm going to stick that in there. Then, believe it or not, I have a rare Heath kit over here. I've only seen three of these in my time one in the Heath kit store and two at the, at the Ham Fest. And I got one of them. This thing here is the Heath Kit HM2103. And I believe that's it, right? HM2103. HM2103. And it is a dummy load slash power meter. So now what I'm going to do is if I'm going to power this thing up and see how it goes, I'm going to hook up my uh, coaxial lead to the back of the transmitter going to the back of the dummy load okay and now what I'm going to do is is I'm going to take this transmitter I'm finally going to plug it in probably maybe the first time in 40 years who knows well here it is moment of truth we turned it on apparently no smoke or anything all tubes are lighting up and uh, we're going to let it warm up for about a minute or so so now I'm going to take this thing, I'm going to throw it in the transmit position, and let's see. And there is no output, so I'm having problems. So let me just try one thing here. Well, we hear the relay kicking in and stuff, but... It's not doing anything, so I'm going to turn this thing off. I'm going to have to further troubleshoot this thing and see exactly what's wrong with this uh, with this guy. So we'll continue on with it, and uh, we'll go from there. Well, we had a problem before where uh, there wasn't no power out, and we checked the tubes into it. Tubes are fine. Then I says, "Hey, what about the crystal?" And change out the crystal. Turned out the crystal was bad. And that's what I get for buying a 25 cent crystal underneath the uh, flea market table. Replace the crystal. Now you put this thing over in the transmit position. And here you go, folks. And I can sit there and I can actually can tune this thing. And there she is. A full 70, uh, 70 watts out. And she's working just fine. And I can even adjust the power level and uh, she's working just great and as you can see the meters are uh, working and the indicator light for power out and also too in the background uh, my 75A4 you can hear the audio out so there you have it she is now working unit I did put the case on to and so on and it's all together and here it is a beautifully restored Drake 2NT transmitter which will be around hopefully for another 50 years.